Hey everybody, today we are looking at this little device right here. Put that down for a second. Let's get this box over here. This is from One More. This is a high definition Bluetooth adapter. This has support for LDAC and AAC. It has eight hours of time. It only takes two hours to charge it. Um, one button control for everything right there, that little button that's highlighted in red. We'll get a look at that in just a second. Um, so, you know, you press that to turn it on. You press that to pause. Um, you also press that uh, to, you know, to pair with your device. It's got Bluetooth 5.0. Very easy to pair. Uh, good range on this, but, you know, something this small, you're not going to be really taking it that far away from your device. There's some more specs on the back if you want to pause it just the different you know codes that it takes and everything and the maximum wattage and all that it's a very nice device and i'm going to put that out there right now i like this device I, there wouldn't be a video if i didn't like this device i think i've gotten i'm roughly i think about three other amps uh recently that were like similar on the idea of this and the ores that that i use a lot uh you know, I'm going to be taking this one um, more with me a lot. No, this doesn't have a microphone in it like the Aorus, and the Aorus also supports LDAC. But this is like, you know, that's like three times the size of this. And while it is small enough to stip, stick in your bag or, you know, anything, a pocket, which I never would do because I don't want it to get broken, um, you know, this is nice, and this has specific features that I really, really needed, and I'm glad I have it. It's made for IMs. Uh, it's made for low impedance sensitive IMs uh, with balanced armatures. And a lot of times with balanced armatures, you get the you know the hiss or the, the big pop or something like that when you turn on an amplifier with them. And there are a lot of amplifiers that just do not play well with balanced armature and hybrid uh, IMs. Uh, my own, for instance, over there would never think of putting a balanced armature on it anymore. I've actually literally uh, ruined two pairs of IMs on that. I love that amp. Uh, I use it mostly for DAC, and it runs into my um, SP200, but never put balanced armatures on one of those zones. Uh, but throws out a lot of power, and it, it's just not made to do that. There's nothing wrong with the device. It's just not made to do that with the sensitive IMs. This is made to be used with sensitive IMs. Obviously, the quad and the triple drivers are balanced armatures and dynamics. Uh, they're hybrid, and that's what this is made for, to be used with those and whatever other device. Don't think that you just have to use it on those. It's made to be used on any IM. Lower impedance headphones did test it with Sennheiser Momentums, uh, Sennheiser Urbanites. Uh, what else did I have? The um, Audio Technica uh, M40X, which I use sometimes in the studio, uh, and the Cost Porter Pros also used it with it, and then everything else was IAMs that I used it with, a uh, majority of which were hybrid, uh, like the TRN uh, STM that we just got in, we'll be doing a review on shortly. On the subject of hybrids, here you have. Uh, the one more, triple, very nice made, very nice looking, nice looking case, by the way, that it comes with. This easily fits in that case with the IM, no problem right there, it's so tiny. Um, these are very nice, they have a nice and balanced sound uh, to them. There's some good bass there, there's an elevation in the uh, mid bass uh, that makes them uh, have a nice warmth to them. Uh, that doesn't over, you know, do it in the mids. The mids are very nice. Um, the treble is also very polite. It doesn't go too high. There's not a lot of, uh, you know, treble murder going on there. It's decent. Uh, there's very, very nice details in, in the highs. There's very good details in the mids and excellent details in the bass there overall. Uh, it's a very nice pair that is non-fatiguing. I like those a lot. I plan on using those a lot more. Uh, then comes along this. 
Do you like this? Is this something that you need? Do you want something that's made, you know, for sensitive IMs? Do you want something uh, to take with you to amplify and connect Bluetooth-wise? Also, you don't have to use the headphone jack. If you don't have a headphone jack, here's another good solution for it right here, Apple users. Um, so this has, is a very versatile device. It's very small. It has some excellent sound quality to it. It definitely is a vast improvement over the computer and the phone and the tablet. I also use an iPad, so I do use Apple devices as well, as well as a Windows PC and a bunch of Android devices running various versions of Android all the way up to 10. Um, it sounded excellent. The volume is definitely increased. The sound is much better. Uh, overall, definitely can recommend this device. Now, this device sells for about $29, $30. Let's just round it off. This device sounds for $30. This sells for about $80. And then the quad driver, I am not 100% sure, but I think it was um, like 149 150 something like that. Anyway, if you buy this, the triple driver, or you buy the quad driver, you get this for free right now. So you, if this is all you need, you can get this for about 30 bucks from one more. And if you want to do the bundle deal, you buy this, and this comes free with it, and you get the best of both worlds. You can have both of those products. Very excellent deal, especially considering that these are 80 now, the 79. They're a lot cheaper than they were before. So you get this legendary IM. You get this wonderful, very portable uh, Bluetooth adapter. And you're going to save yourself, you know, plugging things into the phone constantly. Uh, if you don't have a jack, obviously you save yourself that hassle of carrying around ad other adapters with the long cord, you know, the dongle DAX. And it does an excellent job. And it's so tiny. So overall, I'm definitely going to give this high marks for sound. The build quality looks great. Uh, obviously, I can't give you anything for comfort because you're not sticking this in your ear, I hope. Um, but the, the clip was actually good. It stayed on my lapel. It stayed on my collar. When I didn't have a pocket, it stayed in the pocket very easily on a shirt. I don't put things in the pant pocket. I don't want to end up losing them or them to get broken or something like that. But a shirt pocket, clip it on the outside, you know, definitely works out fine. It does a lot of different things very well and very simple. And it sounds great. Uh, it has good battery life, has good sound. What more could you, you know, possibly want from a device? I have gotten a bunch of these devices in recently, and I'm going to tell you, there were three other devices that I got just before this, and you notice there's only one video because those three, they weren't good. They cut out all the time. They didn't do what they were supposed to do. One of them was a, a receiver and a transmitter. It didn't actually do that. It just it received and that was it. It wouldn't transmit for anything. There was a horrible interference with the trans. One of them had an awful whining noise like it was like receiving something that wasn't from me to the device. So, and those had microphones and of course they were more complex and everything. This does everything quite simply. There's one button there. It looks great. It's small. Get the bundle or get that you know that's up to you um i'm glad i got the bundle because i i've wanted these for a long time i actually ordered these and they didn't come in and then i saw the bundle and i got these and that's good um you know it's a good pair if you want to put these two together they're great together if you just need a device like this i can highly recommend this uh, this is one of the better of the smaller devices that i've actually seen out there um I hope this was informative. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I showed you something new because you know a lot of people don't know about this one. There's a lot of new, you know, ones that look like this and dongle DACs and Bluetooth DACs from other different companies, but this one is uh, really it's budget priced. It's tiny. It's simple. It sounds good, and I like the way it looks as well. The one more high definition. Bluetooth adapter. I hope this video was good for you, and I hope you're all being safe out there. Please be safe. Uh, thank you so much for watching my videos. I appreciate it very much. Always available to answer your questions if I can. Thank you so much.